All right, so I'm gonna tell y'all about the time when I was—I thought I had the baddest bitch in the party, bro. So you know, we young niggas, like maybe 17, 16, 17, start drinking. You know, smoking weed wasn't for me. I get too paranoid, but start drinking, found out, found out I can handle the drinking. You know, I can handle the drinking too much because that shit was just in my body. Like, my mom drunk her whole pregnancy with me. So, like, when I discovered alcohol, the feelings I used to have as a kid, it clicked. Like, whoa, this that motherfucking feeling. So, I believe, like, as a kid when I came out, my body was just getting rid of all that shit. And I, I used to go through, like, I, I would say it was like a withdrawal thing. I used to sit on the ground, like, and I used to have this weird-ass feeling. Like, the world would just be spinning. It was weird. But when I started drinking alcohol, I felt that feeling again. I was like, oh, whoa. So anyways, we used to go to my cousin. We used to go to, uh, my cousin used to live in the city, Fontana. And we used to always, we'd catch the bus all the way from the city of San Bernardino to Fontana. Now, I don't know how to catch the bus, but my, my best friend do. So, well, you know, we on the bus drinking, whatnot, getting drunk and shit. Go spend a night at my cousin's house. We going to parties every every weekend. We going to party. We hitting them up. We go to this one party this one night. We went and got the uh, Cherry UV Red. Um, I don't. It's a red bottle. I don't know who makes that shit, but it's Cherry UV Red. We fucking that shit up. We got that bottle. Bottle gone by the time we get in the motherfucking party because niggas want to share bottles and they want to. Hey, niggas want to share and shit. I'm you know I'm a I'm gonna be one hundred. Hey. Get your own fucking bottle. But I wasn't around the bottle because there's bitches in there. So I'm dating this girl named Nene at the time. Thick booty girl. Oh my gosh. This thick booty motherfucking short girl. We end up meeting them. We at this park one time. They with their mom or auntie or something. We see them. You know, I think we up there playing tennis. They playing like baseball. So we like, what's to it? You know, we just in there watching them. <laughs> Damn, ass is around. I'm talking about ass, 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 ass. So we end up being cool with them. I'm a little dog ass nigga at this time. But me and Nene, we end up talking. And uh, she at this party, but I'm doing whole ass shit. So she dip off somewhere into the party. And I think with it, uh, I got a couple of fucking party stories, but I was doing some crazy shit. But um, what ended up happening was, I don't know how this happened, bro. The liquor started kicking in. But I'm starting talking to some niggas because I see they got a bottle. And they buy like the little DJ booth where this nigga playing music. So I'm like, oh, what's to it? I see them bottles. What's up? And then y'all charging? Y'all charging for the bottles? Nigga hooked me up. I'm just chopping up with him. And I'm like, I got a motive. Nigga, I'm finna get this drink. There, there. I'm finna get this drink. You know, chopping up with the nigga. What y'all on? Hey, nigga. Like, hook a nigga up with something. Got me a drink fucking vodka or something. It might have been Amsterdam. I don't know what it was, but I fucked that shit up. Man, I don't know how I ran into this girl, but I'm telling you, she was light-skinned, but I swear on my life, I was feeling it. I'm like, I got the baddest bitch in the party. I'm talking about, I, I swear on my life, I thought I had the baddest bitch in this party. I'm, we kissing and all type of shit. We, we smooching up. Whole time, I'm with this I'm dating this girl, Nene. I'm there with her cousins and all that shit. But it was kind of like, it was, it was something weird. Because it was like, I want to say we low-key was doing our own thing. But I don't fucking know. I, I really, I don't know. It was, it was just weird. So I'm kissing on this girl all in the motherfucking part. I'm smooching her ass up. Nigga, my best friend, like, basically whole time trying to tell me, hey, nigga, like, nigga, Stop kissing that bitch. Like, bro, have you seen this bitch? I'm like, nigga, you hating. Like, watch out. I'm drunk as fuck. Like, moving around in the fucking party with this fucking girl. Like, move, nigga. Like, you niggas tripping. It end up to where, like, I have to take a shit. And I've, I've, I've never done no shit like this. I'm like, I'm going to the motherfucking restroom. So I'm like, where's the bathroom, man? I'm in that motherfucker drunk. It's fucked. Shit, I called my best friend. We called him Smalls at the time. I'm like, Smalls. I don't know what the hell I told the nigga. But 
I think it might have been about some toilet paper or something. Like, I'm in these people's bathroom blowing their shit up. Now, nobody want nobody using their restroom at a party. It's like, hey, take your ass home. Like, the girl parent barely just let her have this little kickback. So, he come up in there, like, saying something. But the girl coming that motherfucker. And I'm on the toilet, like, ooh. I'm like, hey, get the fuck up out of here. Whole time, this the girl I've been smooching on. <laughs> so... My nigga Small is coming. I'm like, hey, yo, like, tell that bitch, like, get the fuck up out of here. He like, nigga, like, I'm like, I'm like, who the fuck is she? Like, nigga, that's who you been with at the, at the bar the whole night, nigga. I'm like, that's the bitch I've been kissing on. He like, yeah, nigga, I've been trying to tell you, nigga, get the fuck up off her. I'm blown out my motherfucking mind, bro. Like, whoa, this girl, this girl, little chicken head, little light skin. I, I'm talking about. I would say she might have been nerdy, but I don't know how she got into that party. There, that, but I'm telling you, I thought I had the baddest bitch whole fucking night. Smooching all up on this girl. Like, all nah, niggas hating. Like, ooh, move around to the other side. I'm drunk as shit. Move around to the other side of the party trying to get away from my cousin and shit. My best friend, a real nigga, he like, bro, this is looking bad for you. But whole time, like, nigga, go on, nigga. Like, hey, chill. Go do your home thing. Go talk to somebody, nigga. When them lights, when she came in that bathroom and I seen that face, I'm like, yo, get the fuck out this bathroom, whoever the fuck you is. Like, why is you in here? I didn't know that was who I was kissing on the whole night. But I'm like, why this little bitch try to come in here while I'm shitting in the toilet and shit? Like, get the fuck up out of here, nigga. 2020 vision. Nigga, I'm drunk as shit on that toilet. Like, woo, who the fuck is this trying to, she trying to burst in that bitch. Then on top of that, it's like the privacy. Like, damn, you weird fucking girl. I'm in here, I'm in here shitting. Oh, I'm in here shitting. Like dead ass Tearing this motherfucking toilet up Fuck me up bro I leave out the restroom I'm trying to avoid this girl The whole fucking night Whole fucking night I had to get super drunk I drunk some more I got too fucking drunk Ended up Don't smoke weed But I knew I was gonna have a hangover So I went to the front The girl I was dating Nene Her cousin uh, I, think, I think that nigga name was Day Day Something Something he, he out smoking a blunt in the front So I go hit the blunt two times That shit kinda like Gave me stability on, on not being too fucked up. Man, hungover. Next day, woke up. I'm the motherfucking talk of the show. I'm the talk of the show. But I took it like a G. It was, it was funny because like, I got humor out this shit. But everybody was cracking jokes for months. And that's the story. Like, my best friend tell that shit, nigga, that shit is guts. But I literally thought I had the baddest bitch in the party. I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking about y'all niggas better go on somewhere and get the fuck on. Y'all see what I got? Y'all, y'all niggas hating. Whole time, nigga, I'm drunk, blurry vision. I just know, I'm, I just know I, whatever I'm kissing on is light skin. So I'm, I'm kissing on a light skin bad bitch. That's what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm kissing on a light skin bad bitch. Whole time, little motherfucking duckling in this motherfucker. Them lights hit on. I seen the little duck. The motherfucker started trying to quack in the bathroom with a nigga. I'm like, oh, oh, who the fuck did you get the fuck up out of here? Whole time after girl and smooshed all up and shit. She fell in a nigga. She ain't never had. She ain't never had a nigga do like that. Show y'all my childhood picture. I'm probably trying to upload in this video. Well, I used to be a smooth, cold looking nigga, man. Back when I was younger, man. So I, I, I was a good looking nigga. So I know who, she must be like this nigga like me. Oh my god, fresh little nigga too. Oh my god, man. That shit was crazy. Another time, man, I'm at a motherfucking party and I'm in my hood at this time. I go to this party, homegirl Shana House. A little uh, little white girl, she was cool as shit. And my ex walk in that motherfucker. Now, I'm talking to my baby mama at this time, but my ex walk in. And you know when your ex pop up at a party, oh, they finna do the most. They finna do the most. I had a full water bottle like this. I kid you not, full of straight vodka. This the, is this the worst hangover I've had. I downed that whole fucking bottle. Because I knew I was like, oh, I, I gotta make it through this night. Like, I, I, I don't even wanna remember the night. Like, I, I just knew I had to be drunk. I didn't know I was gonna get that fucked up. I downed that whole shit. When that shit kicked in, I'm talking about I'm wobbling. I remember wobbling. And you know the little machine that you put the quarters in to get like little like m ms or something? Old girl had one of those in the front of her house. I know I smacked that and 
I remember smacking that. I fell face forward to that motherfucker. Just hit my forehead. Bow! Everybody, the whole party stopped like, whoa. I was like, I'm good. Got the fuck up. Went outside. I don't know what happened. I think like some blood niggas put up my hood with Crips. And I, I was tripping. I was really tripping. Tripping like a motherfucker. Or with some blood niggas. And I'm tripping. I'm banging down. My big homies come outside. I had this boondocks chain on that was hard. I had a watch. Hard. Lost that shit. Lost that shit. Now, I'm going to be 100. The, the chain was like $70. Maybe like a No, I think it might have been like a hundred and something dollars. Chain watch probably like 70. But, you know, a little, little nice little watch. A little fake little, little nice little watch. Motherfucker, ain't nobody else had that motherfucker for sure. Nobody else had that. And motherfuckers knew I had money too, too back then. I was getting a... Uh, uh, Excuse me, I was getting social security when my dad retired. And that's why I, that's that's a whole nother story, you know. If I knew if I knew what I knew now, the young age would have been different. So anyways, lost that shit. Lost the damn chain, lost the watch. And I think somebody around me stole that motherfucker and sold it. Cause that's that's the only thing I could think of that happened. Like somebody had to steal that motherfucker because that motherfucker just disappeared. I was drunk as shit, came home, tow up, my dad getting ready to go to work with my cousins. Drunk as shit I'm like I thought I didn't go to the hospital My dad was like That's your problem Like I'm on the floor Feel like I'm gonna die That nigga Just kept it pushing That's your problem <laughs> And went the fuck to work <laughs> I woke up the next day I, I was with my baby mama at the time I don't even think she was pregnant I don't think she was pregnant I'm not sure But uh Yeah man, I was throwing up And it was to the point where After you done threw up everything You just got the residual effect Of just <laughs> But nothing's coming out Like just a little bit of liquid I was fucked up Laying on the side of the bed Toe up This shit It's not even like It's just clear liquid type shit I was fucked up that whole day I thought I was gonna die Fuck That shit was horrible I was like Maybe I think I was maybe 18 Yeah maybe 18 At that time But whoo That shit was horrible But Yeah I got a couple other stories too But I think I'm gonna run out of damn space on this phone Another time, I'll tell y'all this real quick. We go to this party. It's me and the girl Nene dating. We up in Fontana. And, like, it was, it was just original. It was, it was, we had a couple of things, too, because the Fontana niggas is different out there. I am I was born in Fontana at Kaiser Hospital, but I grew up in San Bernardino, so I'm a West Side baby. But um, out there, them niggas just weird. So, you know, my cousin and them, they all from L.A., so we just went. We was just on a different type of time, like, as far as. We'll beat the fuck out you niggas out here like dead ass. And then it happened, like, you know, one of my, my in laws, uh damn near family, nigga Dondre, that's his name, beat the shit out this one nigga, the little fat little white boy. And they thought this this white boy was gonna beat his ass cause something about the nigga new boxing, some weird shit. Nigga Dondre put paws on this nigga. These niggas mad, they got bats and shit. We like nigga throw hands, police end up coming, we running from police, they got choppers out. Whole bunch of weird shit. I'll tell that story in a, in another video. But um, back to the shit with with Nene. We had this party. I got a car at this time. No tags. I'm driving around. No motherfucking tags. Going around my neighborhood, stealing tags. Going to whole city over here where my cousin lives. Rolling around, thinking the nigga legit. Got the motherfucking tag. It just need to say, uh, 2012. It just because it said 2008. Well, it expired, but it was like 2011, 12. I, I think I got a 2012. Took that motherfucker off my car. I'm out there. We rolling around. We got four locals. We in this motherfucker. I'm drunk as shit the whole time. Now, at this time, you know, I'm dead ass driving the car like this. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna stay on and drive the motherfucking car. I'll put this on my mama. I'm driving the car this close to the steering wheel. Mashing. I'm drunk as shit. My eyesight's kind of fucked up, but I don't need glasses at this time. And what I didn't see was a median on the ground when I'm driving this parking lot. We pull in the parking lot, my cousin swerve in. I'm trying to speed to show off, swerve around him. I ran over a fucking median. Fucking airbag bust out, bam! Fooled my face over. And I, I'm drunk as shit. It doesn't even knock me back. It could knock me back because I'm, 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 the seat is like, it, I'm not going nowhere. So my, my best friend, this nigga, the car starts smoking. This nigga gone. This the fastest I've ever seen him run. This nigga going across the park. He left everybody. Mind you, this my nigga. This my day one nigga. He's the nigga who supposed to sit in the front. This time, I make him sit in the back because I'm like, let Bay sit in the front. So he like, nigga, like, he mad. Like, nigga, I'm supposed to sit in the front. Nigga, I'm your best friend. Nigga, don't nobody, them bitches going to sit in the back. So I got old girl in the front. I'm trying to show up rolling. Like, yeah, I'm 
drunk, bumping music, a rigged ass radio. I got this radio in my car. Imagine this shit low key hanging out because I didn't have it installed right. But it, I had it rigged some type of way to where it wouldn't move. But beating that motherfucking off. Beat. Expired tires. Nigga moving. I'm pushing through the city. Bald ass tires. Y'all nigga. Dumb shit. Bumping E40, I believe. Nigga, I had. We was. Me and my cousin back in the day, we was bumping E40 like crazy. E40. You pull up bumping some E40. Oh my gosh. Nigga. And I had a. I had a guitar speak rate. Type of speaker in my shit to where if I open that trunk, you can hear that shit so loud, the bass and crisp. It, it was like a like a nigga was having a concert. I used to play that shit from my house. My best friend lived down the street. He's like, damn nigga, I can hear that shit at home. I'm like, oh, you can hear that shit. I'm like, oh nigga, for sure. That's how I know my shit be, nigga. I'm like, yeah. But um, yeah, man, fucked up that car, knocked the oil pan off. And try to drive that motherfucker. I'm like, I get my dumb ass. Call the police. I'm on the phone calling the police. My dumb ass. Like, yeah, I just crashed. Nigga, you don't ever call the police. Then it clicked. Like, nah, nigga, you can't call the police because you drunk. You going to go to jail. So I had to have my cousin push me back to his house. And that's what we did. Nigga pushed me back to his house. Drunk as shit. Couldn't figure out what the fuck was wrong with that car. The whole time, knocked the oil pan off. But, um... Yeah, man, that was a crazy-ass motherfucking story. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to get back up in this house and shit. I'll tell some couple more stories in a little bit. I'm gone.